Josh Hartnett and wife Tamsin Edgerton have a rare star-studded date night at pre-Oscars party. Josh Hartnett and his wife Tamsin Edgerton were spotted at a pre-Oscars 2024 party in Los Angeles, marking the first time they have attended a Hollywood event together in seven years, Josh Hartnett and Tamsin Edgerton just had their first public Hollywood date night in more than seven years. On March 8, the Pearl Harbor star and his wife made a rare joint appearance at the St. Laurent X Vanity Fair X NBC Universal Party in Los Angeles to celebrate the nominated film Oppenheimer, one of several pre-Oscars 2024 events. For their star-studded date night, Josh, who plays late Nobel-winning nuclear physicist Ernest Lawrence in the film, wore a black tux jacket over a matching polka dot shirt and silk pants while the actress was dressed in a black, sparkling, feathered gown with ruffled sleeves. Josh, 45, had left Hollywood back in the mid-aughts while continuing his acting career. In recent years, he has been spotted at celebrity events alone and with Tamsin mostly in England, where the two live with their four children. In fact, this marks the first time the couple has been seen together at a Hollywood event since they attended Vanity Fair's 2017 Oscars afterparty. Last month, the Penny Dreadful star made a rare appearance at the 2024 SAG Awards, where Oppenheimer won top honors. The movie received the award for outstanding performance by a cast in a motion picture while main star Killian Murphy took home the prize for outstanding performance by a male actor in a leading role and co-star Robert Downey Jr. was honored for his outstanding performance by a male actor in a supporting role. At the SAG Awards, Josh revealed in an interview on the red carpet that he and Tamsin had privately welcomed baby number four, after he was asked whether he'd seen anything about the Josh. Hartnet Renaissance Trending on Social Media I have not, he told Gold Derby. I have four kids, I live in the countryside. I'm busy either working or taking care of them, but thank you. 